Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be doing a review on the newest Church of Disgust EP titled Consumed by Slow Putrefaction. And this tape was put out through Maggot Stomp, the label that has been the name of the game when it comes to death metal in the recent years. Uh, some very cool artwork by Nightmare Imagery. And Church of Disgust is from San Marcos, Texas. And um, although I'm a bit new to their music, they are not new to death metal. They have two full lengths under their belt, which are very good. And this EP just kind of continues what they've been chugging along and uh, churning out lately. Uh, my favorite thing about Maggot Stomp is the variety of bands on their roster. They have bands that sound straight out of the 90s, like Disembowel, but also the more caveman uh, catered style of death metal like Fluids. And Church Disgust is one of those bands that can kind of straddle both worlds. Um, this EP is very much rooted in that early American style of 90s death metal, but also has a lot of the new influences and just the super barbaric chugs. And uh, this album, uh, the opening song on here is the title track. And right away, um, Church of Disgust really showcases their barbaric side of chugging right from the intro, intro riff. It's very crushing. And then everything cuts out and there's a drum fill which uh, highlights the production and the, the work on the drums, and I think that's very cool. The drums sound very heavy and big, but also natural at the same time. After that, they go into this very catchy um, verse riff, which is kind of a, a style that is uh, elaborated on more as uh, this release goes by. It's a very punked out autopsy style, a kind of a bouncy style of death metal, which I think is super cool, very catchy. And uh, this is a release where after the first listen, you can really get a hang of the songs and uh, you can be singing along by the second listen. And I think that's really awesome that Church of Disgust is able to write very catchy and memorable death metal. Uh, a lot of times in death metal, there's just so much going on. It can be hard to comprehend. But Church of Disgust, while still maintaining good um, and impressive songwriting, they can really strip it down sometimes and just... Uh, showcase memorable riffs and death metal that's just really fun and uh, uh, it, you can sing along and headbang and uh, right from the first song you get all of that and also there's a part in the first song where uh, it comes after the first solo there's a riff and section where they sound exactly like blessed are the sick era morbid angel and I thought that was really cool to hear just the way in that one single moment they capture that whole early Morbid Angel essence, and you can hear it in his vocals. It totally sounds like uh, David Vincent, and I thought that is definitely one of the highlight of the releases for me. And um, yeah, Consumed by Slow Putrefaction is probably, it's a very short release, it's three songs, but if I were to choose one song, it would probably be that one. Uh, I also really enjoy the ending of the song. They kind of, they do a tag of that whole punked out riff, um, and they end it, which is cool. And that takes uh, the release to the second song, which is also very awesome. Uh, this one's called Drowned in Eldritch Slime. And already from the title, you can tell Church of Disgust is uh, going to be able to capture that kind of Lovecraftian or fantasy horror gore lyrics, which is very cool. And uh, this song starts off with this absolutely killer bass and drums intro which is uh, really fun, and it kind of continues along that bouncy, driving style of death metal. The bass tone on here is really good. It's uh, really poppy and punchy, but it also still has a lot of that boom low end. And uh, Drowned in Eldritch, Eldritch Slime is an awesome song. At the end, there's this really heavy breakdown style chorus, which is, uh, once again, it's one of those riffs that Church of Disgust is just able to make super memorable. And even from the first listen, these are songs that you will not be forgetting anytime soon. All the choruses and lyrics are just so memorable and catchy. The third song on here, Burst Coffin, uh, I feel like that song really showcases um, the impressive solos that Church of Disgust is able to bring to the table. It's not, um, it's a mix between a lot of like tremolo wails, but also melodic lines. 
and they're able to make some really unique and uh, memorable solos on here. That's, that's really the word of this whole release is memorable. You have three songs and the runtime is somewhere um, between 15 minutes or so, but uh, the replay value on this is very high. This is one of those releases where as soon as I finish it, I usually just flip the tape over. It plays the same on both sides. I just flip the tape over and listen to the whole thing again because it's that good. And uh, really in these three songs, each song is able to bring something different to the table, which is really an impressive skill. And I think Church of Disgust has a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff that's uh, going on right now as showcased in this release. I can't wait to hear what comes next uh, because this is just catchy, but also heavy at the same time. And uh, I absolutely love this band and I love this release. I'm going to rate this EP an 8.5 out of 10. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't heard it. And I can't wait to hear what Churcho Discuss is going to do next. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.